Alberta. You know, Mr. Speaker, yesterday the RCMP arrested 13 extremists blockading the border at Coots. They seized guns, ammunition, and body armor, including assault weapons with thousands of rounds. This comes after convoy leaders raised millions from foreign donors with a stated goal to overthrow the government. And while I'm happy to see that the blockade appears to be ending in Alberta, the fact remains that we had an armed militia active in Alberta. This is unthinkable. Why did it take 18 days and proof of an armed threat to make the government act and protect Albertans and Canadians? Goal Minister for Emergency Preparedness. Mr. Speaker, I, I thank the member for that very important question, and, and I think it does reveal, and we agree, that what we have seen in, 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 in Coots, Alberta, and in a number of these blockades, illegal blockades across the country, is that the threat is not yet gone. And that's precisely why, Mr. Speaker, we've introduced through these measures of the Emergency, measures, the emergency Act that we introduced yesterday that will increase, for example, the financial scrutiny and consequences of these illegal acts that will also make available equipment and authorities that our law enforcement officials need to maintain and restore public safety and to protect Canada's interests.